Yes. <coughs> uh, I'll, I'll read this like usual. Yes. The court has now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Should I be Phoenix for the court case? Yeah. That way you don't have to be the prosecutor and the defense attorney. Yeah. Okay. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. The prosecution will show that the court I do. <laughs> You already messed up, Edgy. Wait, what did you just call him? <laughs> Edgy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel like saying his full name. <laughs> anyway, at 2 30 p.m. on October 15th, the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, kills the fellow actor Jack Hammer at Studio One at Global Studios. It is impossible for anyone else to have committed this hated crime. The evidence presented during this trial will point to this fact. Mm, I see! Very well, I would like to move on to your testimony. Mr. Adrard, the prosecution may call its first witness. First, I'd like to call a familiar face, Detective Gumshoe, to the stand. <clears throat> Detective, if you would briefly describe this case to the court. Yes, sir. I'll explain with the guide map here. To understand this case, it's important to grasp the layout of the studio, see? This here is the employee area. The actors did a run-through of their action scenes during the morning here. This is the main gate to the studios. The security lady that works at the studios was here today, at, or was here that day at 1 p.m. Past the security station, there's a gate, see? Past that, there are the studios. And here is Studio One. This is the scene of the murder, where the body was found. Now, on the day of the murder, October 15th, there were only three people here. The victim, Jack Hammer. The defendant, Will Powers. And a young woman, the production assistant. Wait, did he just, like, not say her name? Does she not have a name? She does! I know she does, but not to anyone else. Even in this! <laughs> She's just labeled as assistant! Oh my goodness, it's so dehumanizing! Oh! We're sorry, Penny! Oh, Poor Penny. Yeah. That. Jack Hammer. <laughs> what? <laughs> Age? Question mark? <laughs> uh, it's funny. Wow. So, for some reason. Mai is the only female that actually has a name in this thing. <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> so we know it's not sexism, because otherwise Maya wouldn't have a name. It would just be like, um, partner. But, so wait, You're why? <laughs> it's weird. Yes. Like, they have- they have names. We don't need to refer yeah. to them as security later. lady. It doesn't even- 
At least Penny, it says her name, like, in her profile. With, with Old Peg, it doesn't even, like, anywhere say her name. Oh my goodness. Wow. All the production... All the production staff were in the employee area until noon. Then, after lunch, the victim Jack Hammer went to Studio One. Right after that, at 1 p.m., the security lady got to the guard station. Now, jump ahead to later that day, 5 p.m., the production staff came to Studio One to perform a rehearsal. Needless to say, the rehearsal was canceled. Can you imagine they didn't cancel a rehearsal? They're just like, well, uh, do we have someone else that can play his part? Because we still need to, we, we need, we have deadlines to meet, guys. We still need to, uh, the, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. The samurai spear found lodged in the victim's chest was the murder weapon. That's the case, in brief. Anyone like to hear that again? Hmm, should I listen to that whole thing again? No! I think I can probably remember that. So, the murder weapon was a spear? How medieval! Your Honor, this case is quite simple. You ask one question. And that question is, what did the security lady at the guard station see? Understood. Understood. Let's call this security officer to the stun. Oh no. Will the witness declare her name? Hey. Oh my goodness. Seems Edgeworth has a bit of trouble getting his witnesses to say their names. Let me hold that theory. Okay. Yeah, oh. Ah! Same, 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 that's right. <laughs> uh, objection. 
Of Mr. Wright. Mr. Just... Or Mr. Uh, yeah, same. Whatever. Words. Yes, Your Honor. No, that would mean I'm cross-examining myself. <laughs> that would be interesting. Okay, so, so you claim that you didn't eat the cookie. I didn't. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> when, you're, when, when you're trying to eat healthy and you have an argument of... Um, uh, with yourself about eating a cookie. That's a thing. Oh god. Let me get this straight. Old bag. Or M Miss Old Bag. You've been saying since yesterday that you saw Mr. Powers. Correct? But you're talking about the man in this photo, aren't you? Just a moment, Mr. Wright. Let me see that photo. What is this, exactly? None other than the Steel Samurai, defender of Neo Old Tokyo. Miss Oldbag. Is this the Mr. Powers that you saw? Of course! Didn't your mama teach you any sense, Sonny? Oh my goodness, she's so weird. Anyone can plainly see it's Powers, right? Um, yeah! Um, well, I, I wonder... True, Mr. Powers does play the role of the Steel Samurai. But that doesn't mean Mr. Powers is the Steel Samurai. Huh? I, I, I know that. I, I wasn't born yesterday. No one in this court is accusing that of you, Mr. 
Wit witness. <laughs> I like how the judge is just like, yeah, we know, you're very old. <laughs> He's having trouble calling her old bag, apparently. How do you not have proof of that your photo is Mr. Will Powers, do you? Wait, what? <laughs> Nosey old man. Of course I have proof. What? <gasps> Even Edgeworth is surprised. The prosecution would like to ask the old the the witness. Please make Oh, uh, no, all in that the information in your presentation I've had of time. What? How was I supposed to know everyone was would be so nosy? Anyway, I showed the photo to the young detective. They told me this isn't a as good. This isn't any good as evidence. Half. Uh. He can't even give a second look. Wow, old windbag has left even Edgeworth speechless. She's good. <laughs> Let's hear about your proof, then. I never say anything. I don't need to remind you. That morning during the run-through of the action scene, I saw Powers trip and fall. He broke one of the props. It was a big mess. Apparently he sprained his ankle pretty bad. Now look at that picture. You can see he's dragging his leg. See? Clear as day. That's how I knew it was, it was Powers. Happy! So you had sprained his ankle. Here. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross examine the witness. She's got to be hiding something. I'll press her until she squeals like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded really weird. Hello, is it saving? There we go. It's not saying it is. Um. Hey, I haven't said anything yet. I'll have you know, I'm not pointing to the same Edgeworth has met his match. He broke a prop? Sure did! His own samurai spear. His samurai spear? The murder weapon? I was there to fix it with duct tape. 
This strikes me as a significant detail. I better write this down in the court record. Okay. Uh, why do I have to save like three times? No, that's for. I mean, he's he's dragging both of his legs though. Is it, is it me, or does that like it does. costume look like it's too big? Exactly. Okay. Exactly, because he's dragging... Like it's not him. Well, he's dragging both legs, not just one. Exactly. But they're not going to accept, accept that, because... Uh... Okay. Okay. Are you absolutely sure? Let's take a look at that picture again. Hmm. So he was walking strangely because he was injured. Hmm. It does look like he was dragging his foot. Oh, that was the judge. Never mind. Oh. Uh, yeah. You can't look at this and say it's Mr. Powers. Yes, but only Mr. Powers could have been dragging his leg. He has a point. It does seem quite likely that it was Powers. There's got to be more to this. I'd better keep pressing her. at the run through. Well, let's see. There was Powers. He's the seal samurai. Um, poor old Hammer, the evil master straight. And, um, me! And what exactly were you doing? Observing! Just observing! What about the assistant? Oh, she was off moving backdrops around and such. So she didn't see the run through then. Trip and fall? Let's just 
just skip over that part, shall we? Where was the assistant then? Oh, her. She was cleaning up backdrops, I think. She didn't even know about Power's ankle. Hmm. May I continue to touch them on it? Was Mr. Power's ankle badly sprained? Not so bad that he couldn't walk around. He went up to his dressing room right after lunch. Thus, the nap. Anyway, I saw him dragging his foot when he walked. Dragging his foot. Okay. I think we've heard. I think we've heard enough. Haven't we, your honor? Well, there is one thing that bothers me. Which is? Where is this seal samurai costume now? Um, hmm. Actually, well, we couldn't find it. Pause it for a second. Okay. Oh wait, actually, yeah. let's just end it. Okay. Thanks for watching, Pharaoh. Uh,